Good morning and welcome to a special edition of a Maine nine pin tournament from Keyser Falls in Parson Fields, Maine. I'm Paul Grant, great to be with you. It's our first of two matches today. Our second match at 1 p.m. Another match tomorrow at 9 a.m. Seven teams today, three person team can be mixed. It is 95% handicap based on 130 average. If you drop nine in your first ball, it's a strike. Nine pins in your first two, it's a spare. And nine in the first three is a 10. For the big 20 is John Violet. You know, left is George Dakin. He'll get a spare in that one. First of five strings underway here. He's a Falls, Maine. Beautiful area. Except for John Violet. John from Lewiston, Maine, average of 89, high single of 143, high triple of 320, high five of 510. George Dakin on lane three from Stockton Spring, Maine, average of 104, high single of 143, high triple of 358, goes on an all play. You want to Paul Dyer closing next week. Four in the fill for George. Dakin, 14 after one in the first of five. John, nice shot. A clean spare. 17 in the ball through two. So again, nine pin drop in your first ball is a strike. Nine in your first two balls combined is a spare. Nine combined on three balls is a dead. Eight for George. Dakin, 22 through two. We'll put the scores on the screen every five boxes. Thank you for watching this great game of Kenneth Bowling. John Despair. It's fine. There's a clean strike for George Dakin. 32 plus 2. John's at 22 through 2. John Violet. Close left leads up all five. So it makes the scores interesting. It makes the scores higher. Nine pin tournament underway. And a tough five after that spare five. 27 through three for John Violet. Bob Tremblay's up next on their team, then Amanda Carroll from Gray Maine for the anchor. After George Bacon, he's Scott Collant and Laura Weber. George Lane through working a strike for all play. John's open here in lane four. Nice ball. Got the head pin leads to the back of five. Nice eight drop to seven nine lead for George Dakin working a strike. 32 plus two. John goes wide right. And that counts for a spare. Clean spare on strike. 42 through three. 52 and a ball through four. Solid start for George Dakin. With his 2.6 pound urethane bowling balls. Nine for John Violet, 36 through four. First time covering a nine pin tournament. Keep you on your toes. Fun to watch. Thank you for watching. John Violet gets four and just three that time. But George taking on the spare, 55 through four. John, nice second ball. ball. These are the one, two, and the nine. And that'll count for a spare. Nine dropping two balls. That's a spare. Fourth mark in five boxes for George Dakin. What a start. 65 half. And John Violet a seven for 43 half. Second ball is a three coming up now. First of five strings on the way from Parsons Field, Maine, the Keys of Fall section. I'm going to talk to J.P. Espinosa, the new owner here. An Archie strike and spare. A revamp bowling alley, classic wooden lanes since 1963. 
Set lane four, eight drop to 17 goal post is Bob Tremblay. Laura Weber in lane three for all play gets three. And it won't go. That would have been spare if you got one of them. Laura's open with the diamond plus the 10 pin. Diamonds convert about 27% when a spread equal production stats. Pro Bowl is not wood. Laura Weber's one second, not third. Nice shot. That'll be a 10 for Bob. Trembling. And Laura Weber starts over the seven in the first of five. Again, nine dropping your first ball is a strike. Nine pins combined in the first two balls is a spare. Nine combined in three balls is a 10. Trembling has the check mark on the right. Seven pins to the left, one piece of wood. Weber leaves up the post. Bar from Searsport, Maine. Average of 98. High center 144. Trembley goes right. He's the triangle plus the seven pin. Weber, nice ball. That'll count for a spare. Nine down on two balls. And nine pin counts as a spare. 17 in the ball through two. Nine for Bob Trembley. 19 through two in the first of five. From Kiesa Falls slash Parsons Field, Maine. The biggest town in Maine, almost 50. Nine square miles, give or take. Bob goes right. He's at the one, two, six, and ten to the right. Weber on the spare gets eight, nine. That comes a strike. It's a clean strike anyway on spare. 27 through two, 37 plus two through three. Nice ball, won't go. Bob from Auburn, Maine. Average of 91, career best of 99. High single of 148, high triple 348. Has a high five of 519. He gets a nine. Good pinning, 28 through three in the first of five. Teeth will rotate one lane to the right after each string. How about that start for Laura Weber? Yeah, the average will be higher. It's supposed to be higher in nine pin versus regular action. Another shift at 1 o'clock today, another one nine, uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Wednesday and 1 o'clock tomorrow. Laura just won that fill to work in a strike. Bob Trimbley. <coughs> nice ball. That'll be a spare. And nine pin. Good bit by Weber. Leaves up to 3 6 to the right, the 4 7 to the left. Bob's at 38 in the ball through four. I'm sure. Laura's six net strike, 43 through three. He gets an eight, 51 through four. Head pair, three one split leads to the four pins left, the three six ten to the right. Six in the spare, forty four through four. Laura four two split, one two four, the eight pin behind the two pin, six ten to the right. Trembley only got one. Frederick only gets one there also. Amanda Carroll up next for big twenty on the right. And pretty nine. Bob Trembling, 53 half. Laura Weber, it's just a five. 56 half. And the first of five. Andy Carroll for Gray Vane on the right. On lane four, Scott Collant on the left for all play. Nine pin tournament. Again, th those new to this, it's like a broken record after a while. Nine dropping your first ball constant a strike. Nine in the first two combined is a spare. Nine through three is a ten. The average is ninety-five percent. The handicap is ninety-five percent based on the one thirty average. Andy Carroll gets eight, has the nine and ten. Would the help? Scott Galan goes right and gets three. 
drop the Belfast Maine. We'll be there in two weeks from tomorrow for the main men's money match too. Carol, oh, won't go. It robbed. Rock. Will go for a spare? Yes. Got nine and two. That's a spare. Ten of the ball to start his match. Commander field goal for an eight. Commander always seems to be on an object pin. One of the best women bowls in the game today. Tons of main state records we'll get to throughout the day. Her league average is a big 20, is 113 for the tournament here, it's 19. Career high for a season, 122. She can really bring it. Second box, first string, eight again. Make it nine, that'll be a strike. The last two in the spare, 12 through one on the half west, they punch out the three and the nine. Amanda, 18 plus two through two. <clears throat> She'll reset after Scott delivers his ball. Third ball. Second here. Again, if you hit nine and two balls, it's a spare. Nine, the first ball is a strike. Nine and three, it's a ten. So higher scores. Nine for Scott Kalan. We'll all play 21 and two. The Candy Carroll will be added at the end of the string to see who wins. So Amanda Carroll is a 119 average. She has an 11 pin handicap, for example. So that line is a 105 average. She has 25 pin handicap. <coughs> Carroll drills seven in the spare. On a, working a strike, though. Another ball to go. <coughs> Scott has the 1, 2, 7, and 10. Piece of wood. Amanda on a strike, second ball. That'll be a spare. Nine and two balls, a spare and strike. 28 through two, 38 and a ball through three. And that'll be a spare for Galan. Again, nine combined and two balls is a spare in nine. 31 and a ball through three, a second spare. We'll be interviewing JP Espinosa, the new owner here at Archie's Strike is there after the string is over. First of two matches today, first of three this weekend. Man, nice ball again on the head pin. 3 6 10 to the right, 7 8 to the left. 5 in the fill, 43 through 3. Block gets 6 on the spare, 37 through 3. That's the floor to the left, the 1, 2, 4, and 7. Carroll got it, that'll be a spare. In 9 pin, 9 down and 2 balls, a spare. 3 marks in a row, 53 in a ball for 4. Block is open as he missed the second shot. Open basically means no spare or no strike. Shots out the two pin for a seven. 44 through four. Amanda Carroll on the bonus again, another hit. Look at this one, you gotta be kidding me. The 5 8 in the middle, 5 to the right, 8 to the left, 7 10 goal balls. One piece of wood. 6 in the spare, 59 through 4. Once again, the Roger Quinn. Nothing to show for it. The shot's known as the Clary of the Bob Clary. Stock line on lane 3. Amanda, is that wood? Oh, what a shot for a spare! Beautiful shot, wow! Four marks in a row, 69 half plus 1. Like one of the best bowls in the game today. Man, old woman. But you got robbed in that first ball. First box, you had eight with a piece of wood and got robbed. That would have been five in a row. Line at eight. 52 half. Halfway through the first of five. From Archie Strike and Spare. I'm Paul Grant. Great to be with you. Great game of Kenneth Bowl in the nine pin tournament. Back to the top of the order. John Violet gets a lemon drop. One dog for Al Johnson's killing pitcher cancer pain. <laughs> Team sticking the same side. Nice ball. <laughs> That'll be a spare. For George Dakin, rolling really well. Oh, 
two in that spare, so 67 half, another spare, 77 of the ball, and six. He's got four marks in a row, Matthew Amanda Carroll. John Vial to seven, 50 through six. John Violet, nice ball, crossed over, gets a 3 3 split. 3 6 10 on the right, 4 7 on the left. George Dakin has the parallel pins. 1 5 in the middle to the left is the 2 in the 8 to the right, back is the 9 pin. 5 spare fill, 82 through 6 in the first of 5. And these are balls, Maine. Beautiful section of Parsonsfield, Maine. Both balls open now. 7 for Violet, 57 through 7, 8 for Dakin, 90 through 7. So Team Commander Carlson has got 81 pins handicap. And Scott Glantz team with Laura Weber and George Dakin. Just a moment, nice ball there. Almost a strike. That's a 7 of the 8. Half was to right. George Dakin. Eighty pins for Scott Gallant's team. So one pin difference in the handicap for total. And now it comes to spare. Second mark for John. Violet. Sixty-seven the ball through eight. Yikes, a tough punch out of one there. Dakin, nice out. Only seven though. Ninety-seven through eight. The scores are unofficial, I'm giving you right now. Should we factor in the one pin handicap? Team Carroll have the lead. Seven fill for John Vile in the spare. 74 through 8. Dakin has the back of five. The seventh to left, eight in the back. Two for a spare, nine pin, but it poked it left. Only got one. Taken all but the head pin. Well count as a spare though. And nine pin. So he's got five marks in the string. 107 of the ball through nine. And nine for John Violet, 83 through nine. Off to the right, is four. On the spare, Dakin, seven. Has the four, seven left, the nine pin back. One, 14 to nine. Violet trying to get over the spare, on the hole. Dakin, that'll count for a spare. Six marks, negative seven marks in the string now. 124 to ball the 10. Got a love nine pin. Seven for John Violet ends with a 90 for a string. Not including the handicap. Three in the fill for George Dakin ends up with a 127 first string. Thank you. 127.90. Supposed to confirm 127.90. Nice start, but not including his handicap. We'll put those up after the string is over. 127. Now it's our second bowlers. Bob Trembley, that'll be a spare, a clean spare. 63 and a ball, second mark. Whoever gets a spare. Laura's third mark. She's at 66 and a ball through six. Trembley, 63 and a ball through six. Laura's been going for five years. 
the Suns got their interest in. Mark Weber. Nice ball in the thinner hit, though, gets four. 67 through 6. Weber, spread eagle. He's only converted 1% for four balls of wood, 20% for 10 boxes. Four and a spear, 70 through 6 in the first of five. Nice ball. One more go. Yes. That'll be a spare. Two in a row. Three in the last four. 77 the ball through seven for Bob Tremblay. Laura Webb leads up to three, six, and ten. It's an eight. 78 through seven. Bob Tremblay's home lane is just in time in Lewis Domain. Nice name for bowling alley, just in time. Working a sphere in lane four. 77 of the ball. Seven. Good hit, 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 hit there, but a split. Five in the middle, four, seven to the left. 84 through seven. Whoever gets three. Trembling for another spare, but he only got the one in the middle. He wanted to go to the left there. Whoever, nice ball. A clean spare. Nine would have done the job, but she gets a clean spare. 88 in the ball through eight. Her fourth mark of the string. Trembling in eight. Frogs at 92 through eight. Bob Trumbly at 95, so we're going to just change our machine here. He goes right and gets five. Laura the spare, off the head pin, gets a break at six. That's the one, four, the eight, behind the two pin, two pieces of wood. 94 through eight. Oh, nice ball, that'll be a spare. Bob Trembley, that'll be 105 and a ball through nine after the scoreboard correction. Weber for another one, needs at least two, and she gets it. 104 and a ball through nine. Five marks in the string, one strike and four spares. 104 and a ball through nine. Again, if you're just joining us, a strike, you get nine in your first ball, it counts as a strike. Nine in your first two balls combined counts as a spare. Nine and three balls combined is a 10. 99. Nice ball, head pan, eight. 113 through 9. Weber gets 7 as the 5 in the middle, 8 to the left, 10 to the right, three, 2 pieces of wood. 7 fill on the spare, 111 through 9. For another mark, yes! 123 to ball for Bob Tremblay, what a string! Fifth mark of the string, all spares. He's got 3 in the last, 4 in the last 5. Weber is 7 for 118. For a string. Not including handicap. <coughs> Trumbly finished up his first string of five, one lane four on a spare. Hooked it left, gets three for a 126 first string. This 9 pin tournament, first of three matches this weekend, another live broadcast at one o'clock, a separate broadcast at one o'clock. Thank you. Right. Oh, yeah. We're at 1 o'clock also. Prize money determined by how many entrants there are. <laughs> and to Carol now. In a spare, 69 to ball on lane 4. This is a great bowl to watch. Get the head pinned. Eight. Four left side, ten to the right. Seventy-seven half. Scott Clark gets three. Got a fifty-two half. He's open here. Get it for one more. Yes, for a spare. She's got five in a row. Eighty-seven of all through six. Somebody leads up six. Man is high, single overall, 182. Lamont, a 9, 61 through 6. Amanda Kale has three main state records. High triple of 454 out of Newport Entertainment Center, also there. High five of 703. That's the main state record of high 10. 
13-42. Home lane Scarborough, Maine at the Big 20. Great owner, Mike Walker, also the president of the Maine Canopin Bowling Association. Man uses 2.6 pound bowling balls, 2.7 is the max. Another good head been hit, 7, as the 5, 8, 7 to the left. 94 through 6. Galan has the 5 to the right, the 4, 7 to the left. Two pieces of wood, three, three. And they're looking for six in a row, and only got one. Mr. Object pin that time. She misses, it's not by much usually. There's a spare for Galan. Scott's at 71 of the ball through six. Third spare of the straight. Amanda with a 10, 104 through seven. The official scores have Scott Glenn at 63, so we're just going to change that. We're 73 in a ball now. First of five strings here from Archie, strike and spare. Amanda off to the right that time, it's four. Galant on the spare gets five. That's the one, two, four. A piece of wood behind. Six ten to the right. Five on the spare. Seventy-eight through seven. And the cow swinging those arms in rhythm. Just nudge the head pin. Get the object pin, but too thin. Galant shots out the two pin. And another one goes. That's the one, six, and ten. And the cow cleans up for a ten. 114 through 8. We have to be participating in the women's doubles event in the late September 10th, Saturday. She'll be on the 12 o'clock shift. There's six teams available. Ladies, if you want to bowl, contact myself, Paul Grant, Amanda Carroll, Mario Johnson, Faye Sawyer, Ramona Lamar in Maine. The women's doubles event, Extra Lanes, Extra New Hampshire, Saturday, September 10th. $150 entry fee, 220 average cap scratch. As of May 1st, 2022. Andy Carroll gets six, has the four swing right, the one, three, six, and ten. He's going to about 36% for full bullets on wood. Scott got in that last spot, 86 to eight. Man, will get a spare there. 124 in the ball tonight. Scott's got a tough lead. He's got the parallel pins in the middle of the one five. To the right is the three and the nine. Left side is the four and the seven. And he gets six. Just 92 through nine. Scott's a one away league bowler. We're just from Swanville. Maine, now in Belfast, Maine. Press of high single 156. High triple 405. High five 621. High 10 of 1131. A lot of upside still. And a nice head pin in again. Almost a strike. Nine counts to strike in nine pin. Eight in the fill. 132. Nine. Scott has the one, the eight, and the nine. Two pieces of wood. Made another one. Got it. 142 and a ball in the tenth. Seven marks in the string. That'll be a spare for the line. 102 and a ball in the tenth. <coughs> Amanda finish up the first string. Goes right, gets six. Ends up with a 148 first string. Without the handicap, seven for Scott Glenn is spare of 109. First string. Wait for the official scores. We'll put the scorecards on the screen in just a moment. But what a strength for Amanda Carroll. No surprise there. 148. She's going to shift over to lane five next string, so we won't be covering her next. Spread the wealth here. Share all the bowls in Maine here. And wait for the official scores here to sign up. Then we'll start our second string in just a moment. We'll stay live the whole time.
in a way to help promote Candle Pins for Cancer, hosted by Al Johnson. We're asking people of a lemon drop pool to sponsor a $1 lemon drop pool. If you punch out the four pin or the six pin in your first ball, please tell me $1 to Al Johnson's Candle Pins for Cancer. Candle Pins number four, cancer.com. Just waiting for the official scores here. Nikki, Laura, can I have your score scorecards, please? Going for the official scores here, coming up here now. Thanks for your patience. So that's the team from all play. With the handicap, they're at 437. So we'll see how they finish up here. Amanda, scorecard, please. So that's the update with the handicap, 437. And then a 10-pin win, it turns out, for Team Carroll. Thanks to a bruising, 148, first string. With the handicap, 447. And they win by 10 points. And we're going to start second string in just a moment. This team will switch sides. All right, everybody uh, is good to move over to the next lane. April will be uh, walking around doing the 50 50 uh, raffle. I hope everything was smooth. I'll need your lineups. Your lineups. Uh, five strengths, three in the first sheet, two in the second sheet, in order your bowling. And for them also. You got one here for us. Yeah. Okay. We have the next four. I unless you have uh, Laura, I need this again for uh, Laura. Laura, read this again. All right, so give me to start our second and five strings here, live continuing coverage here. This is a nine-pin tournament from Maine, from Keys of Falls, a section of Parsons Field, Maine. All great with you live. Archie Strike and spare 10 lane facility since 1963. Doing a great job trying to get the lanes that were in poor condition. Doing a great job getting back to life here. A great full bar here, restaurant, a takeout as well. We'll talk to Archie sometime during the second string here. Let's get to start a second string of five. Another broadcast, separate broadcast, one o'clock today, another one tomorrow at one o'clock for the tournament. We got all the scores from all the other teams. Is there other people bowling right now? Laura Libby, David Howard, Willard Dyer, 450 combined. We just showed you this one a few minutes ago. Laura Weber, 111. George Dakin, 127. Scott Lana, 109. And we showed this one a minute ago. Also, obviously, Amanda Carroll, 148. Bob Trumley, 126. John Vaughn, 92. It went. Laura, I'm all set. So Laura Weber's team will be on lane four now. I need their, I need a sheet from them. Let's see. I need one of these for them filled out. All right, so. All right, so bear with us. We can start here. I'll need to fill this out in order. The handicap, the average. This team had three, please. All right, we'll give it away here. So George Dakin. George? Is that a strike for George? The, the, he was still in the strike, I think. His first one. All right, he got a strike in his first ball. Yep. We're trying to get the lineup changes here on the fly. A seven for Chris on lane three. And that's a spare. Nine pin constant a spare. Nine balls combined in two. So he starts out a 20 through one, 30 in a ball through two. That's, I think that's out. I'm going to check that pin there. There. 
Yeah. I'm gonna check the uh, she was past that line. Uh, it's hard to tell from here. But Chris there now in lane three in the red, in Belfast, Maine, just celebrated his 22nd birthday on July 13th. Average of 102, career best of 107, has a high single 164, high triple of 365. From all play entertainment center. Nice ball there. Oops, sorry. And that's a spare, 17 of all through two. Good. Oh, threw it away. Got a ball and a spare. Ouch. That's a Paul Grant shot. 30 through, three, 30 through two. Chris hits four. four 21 through two. Seven. Here we go. Another mark for spare. Chris there has two marks in a row. 31 of all through three and eight. For George Dakin, 38 through three. Without the handicap, hit a 127 in the first. Dakin just two that time. Chris Thayer in the spare gets seven. Has the five nine to the right. Left side seven pin, 38 through three. Parallel pins plus the three for Dakin. And that'll be a spare. He's got three in a row. 48 the ball through four. We go second and third balls now. Which one? Let's go I know Steven. Peyton Dyer. Peyton Dyer next for them. And then Steven Ashton. After that. George, Dakin, what did he get for score? Uh, he had eight. All right, so eight box giving 46 and four. Let's double check that score in a minute. Chris there on the spare gets seven. It's the one five in the middle. Not so left. 40, make that 55 and four. And now we missed that one for a spare. Actually, it was a five in the last box, so 43 through four for Dakin. It was a five, not an eight. And Chris there with a 10 for a 55 half. What did George get the last box? George, what's the last box? Seven. Seven. So just a 50 half as we're on the fly here. Things moving on a dime here. Laura Weber, starts with second string. She had a 118 the first string about the handicap. His young sensation, 14-year-old Peyton Dyer, out of all places in Belfast, Maine. She's a 101 average at age 14. Gets four in her first ball. Brought up, it doesn't get the spare to go. Eight leads to the parallel pins. The one, five in the middle. The right side of the middle is the two and the eight. The left side is the four pin. Weber, 10, to start her second string, a 5. Peyton, a 5 to start. Here are the bowlers so far, the second string. Richard Bacon, tough 5 and 7. Another one won a penmanship award, that's for sure. Peyton, a 5 to start, 55 half. That's a 65 half. That'll be a strike for Laura Weber. Nice ball there. 20 plus 2 through 2. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not looking. I'm, that's a breakdown. I wasn't paying attention. Let's not get the scores updated. Sixty-five half. Nothing like live stream. Live stream, huh? Tell the boat rollers your name. Tell us if you'll be bull is your name. The viewer is your name. Oh, my name? Yeah. Greg. Last name? Delga. And what's your average? 
Uh, 96. What do you pull out of? Golf bath. Okay. Golf bath. He'll be there in a couple of weeks. Wins money match two. Paul Dyer and Mark Carr, defending champions against Lewis Dyer and John Drake. 12 noon, July 31st. Bowling Nerd Network live. Okay, now it's live action with Laura Weber. She gets Fox 4. Peyton Dyer had been hit then, but it's a break as the Warriors discount 5 and 10. Trying to bounce back to that 5 and 5 box in the first ball. First box. Weber, W Spare. 20 in the ball through 2. Dyer, you can miss it. Now it goes for 10. It's a Paul Grant special. Missed the second, make the third. 15 through 2. In the second of 5. Archie strike and spare. These are Falls section of Parsonsfield, Maine. Another broadcast at 1 o'clock today. One tomorrow at 1 o'clock also. All different teams. Weber on the spare fill. Raise the head pin and gets 5. 25 from 2. And string number 2. Peyton on the head pin again. That'll be a strike. The 9 pin. 25 plus 2. Weber for another spare. Got it. Second in the row. 35 and a ball through 3. So again, the rules are 9 in your first ball. It's a strike. 9 in the first 2 combined. A spare. 9 combined in 3 balls. Counts to 10. The highest scores. This is a, is a, new, a new 14 year old, just June 3rd, turning 14. Already won an average of 101 right now. Weber gets four this fall. 39 through three. Peyton working a strike, it's eight. That's the floor discount again, the five and ten. That's what things are actually five and ten cents. Weber, nice ball. Won't go, good try. He's up to five, eight, and ten. Peyton needs at least one, gets it for a spare. Spare on strike, 35 through three, 45 and a ball through four. Laura from Searsport, Maine. 51 year older, for over five years, average of 98, high score of 144. Off to the right, it's four. Peyton on the spare gets six as the diamond. 51 through four. Laura got eight in the last box, 47 through four. And a spare for Dyer. Peyton, three in a row, 61 half. Weber is seven, 54 half. Peyton Dyer, 14 year old sensation. Reminds me a lot of Sharon Britton from Haverhill, Mass. Another young up and coming bowler also come up to the ranks. Watch out for those bowlers. Sharon Britton, Hayden Dyer down the road. Here's Stephen Ashley on lane three. He starts with a clean strike. Spock Lawn's got a mess with the parallel pins plus the 7 and the 10. That's a 6. to live action, seven drop. The Scott has the one, nine, and ten on the spare. A strike action. Steven has the one, two, and four working a strike. Steven gets eight in the strike, 18 through one. That'll be a spare for Scott Kalan on lane four. 16 the ball. Stephen and eight that time, 26 through two. Covering lanes three and four right now. 
Mira Couch got a strike for 1585. She had a 148 on that first trade. Scott had a 109 in the first. High single of 156, high triple of 405, high 5, 621, high 10 of 1131. Going for just four years. Perfect ball on the rise. Nice ball, another strike, clean strike. It's two and three boxes. Steven Ashley on fire here in the second, five. A lot, punches out three. Had four in that fill, 20 through two. Lonka Snade, 28 and 3. <coughs> Stephen Ashley blowing anchor here. He just turned 16 on June 15. Another right. good young bowler from CS Port Maine. High single 181 already. High triple 413. A lot of nice ball. That'll be a strike and nine pin. 30 in the ball through four, plus two through four. Stephen Ashley working a strike. at a strike eight, an eight box, now a strike eight with Bird. 36 plus two, it's six. Wood to help. Looks good. And you only got eight. Good try. On the object pin, wouldn't carry. 44 through three in the second of five. From Parsons Field, Maine, the keys of ball section. That'll be an 8 for Steven, 52 through 4. Steven uses 2.6 pound Echo urethane bowling balls. Bowling for just three years. Already bowling at a high level. Lon gets 5, working a strike. Steven gets 6. That's the 1, 2, 7, and the 8 behind the 2 pin. Lon hooked it left, 5 in the strike. 43 through 4. And that'll be a spare, clean spare. For Stephen Ashley, three marks. Two strike eights, a spare, 62 half. And a 10 for Scott Gallant, 53 half. And back to the top, you are halfway through a second string of five. From Archie Strike and Spare in Parsons Field, Maine. All going to be live. Second of two, first of two broadcasts today. Another one at one o'clock later on. One tomorrow at one o'clock also. A special presentation of Bowling Your Network nine pin tournament. All main bowlers here today. Again, nine and first ball is a strike. Nine and two balls combined is a spare. Nine and three balls is a ten. So it's taken on lane four. Lemon drop, one dollar for Al Johnson. Channel Vince the cancel pin. Get a 50 half. Chris there, got a 65 half. Had three marks in a row. It's four. Nick in the gutter, minus one. That won't count. He's out of the gutter. Not spins down. He has to subtract them. There, he's up three. One five and a three to the right. Chris is over average of 102, career best of 107 for a year. That'll be a tough three. Actually, that's a three box. A two box for George Dakin. A five, seven, and a two. He's 14 his last three. 52 through six. That'll be an eight for Chris there. 73 through six. Off the right gets five. Trying to bounce back. There gets two. It's spare for Dakin. Nice bounce back. Got that two box. 62 and a ball through seven. And a strike and a gutter ball and a spare. Instead, it's a bounce after like that. And nine box for Chris there. 82 through seven. So this is um, second. 
George on the spare gets four. 66 through seven. Chris has the three two split, the two point seven up, six ten on the right. Got Mike McKinney with me right now. Mike is the owner. Tell us about your uh, your motel. Just a moment here. Have your spare. Nice bounce back by Dakin. Fourth mark of the string, 76 and about three. There is open. You and your wife Renee have a nice uh, motel down the street. Got to stay at last night. Very nice place. Tell us about it. Yeah, we're, 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 we're very glad to have you. Um, it's a motel uh, here in uh, Western Mountain, Foothills uh, here in Maine. Um, anytime there is a tournament here at Archie's, though, uh, just uh, keep in mind uh, when you do want to make a reservation with us, uh, just to mention that you're a lead bowler, and we'll give you guys 15% uh, off of your stay with us. Awesome. Six fill to Dakin, 82 through 8. They are the half west to left. Continue on, Mike. Very clean, very beautiful. There's a spare for Dakin. He's got three in a row. Funny game. He had 14 in three boxes. Now he's got three marks in a row. And that's a spare for Chris there. 101 of the ball through nine. So tell us more about your motel. How long you had it for? Uh, well, it's a family-owned business. I'm in the second generation. Uh, it's been in the family going on 18 years now. Um, and it's just something we take uh, pride in, just like the owner here at Archie's also a uh, family-owned business as well. So. Seven field for Dakin, 99 through 9. They are working at Spare in just a moment. Tell us, tell the people again the name of the uh, motel. It's the uh, main Midway Lodging. It's in Cornish, and it's about five minutes away from the bowling alley. It's like the game had in Cornish. Yes. Nice town. Of just some 2,000 people there, right? Yes, yeah, small town. Small town, yeah. Look, another one. Missed it to the right. You got two kids, two nice kids. Yes, two beautiful daughters, and like I said, we uh, take pride in our family business. And we're just glad to be here. Nine. The George taking a 108 string and an eight. Look at that spare fill. One second. That's that spare fill. Seven in the fill, one ten through nine in the eight, one eighteen string. So some of our scores are off, so it's Laura Webber now. And Peyton Dyer. Laura gets five. She had a fifty four of Peyton on a spare. It's five. Sixty six half. We're at a fast pace here. Laura missed the object pin. Peyton Dyer trying to get four here somehow. Missed everything. In the second string of five in Boston's field main. Laura seven. 61 through six. Peyton, it's a tough five. Spare five and a spare. 71 through six. Again, just 14 years old. It's a 101 average already. Out of all play, daughter of Paul Dyer, you'll see on the 31st of May, May 20 match two. Laura gets seven, chance for a spare, the 360-10. Peyton gets a break, has the 4-7 lead, just needs one for a spare in the nine pin tournament. However, it got to go for clean spare. Third mark of the string, 71 the ball through seven. Hit a good piece of wood in front. Looks good. And she got it for a spare. 81 of the ball. That's how it works in nine pin. Nine pins and two balls. 81 of the ball through seven. Both working in spares. On the bonus. Goes right. He gets five. Parallel pins plus to nine. 76 through seven. Peyton has been it again. Breaks the diamond. Has a triangle plus the 10 pin. 87 through seven. The second of five. Nice ball for Laura Weber. She got it. That's a spare. Nine pin. 86 in the ball through eight. She's got two in a row. Four in the string now. Nice 
I get at least three here, and you only get two that would have gotten away. A little more left, it would have gone probably. Aiden Dyer, the 14 year old with a 9, 96 to 8. Here we're down it's 98. We're just, just change on the score sheet. Webber with a bonus. Goal post 7-10 leads. Eight in the fill. 94 through 8. He gets out of spare. Three in a row. 104 in a ball through nine. Dyer, nice ball. That'll be a spare. A nine pin. She's got five marks. 108 in the ball through nine. Get a strike, spare six, spare five, spare six. Now another spare here, ring three. Laura, spare five, spare four, spare five, spare eight. Working one here, one on four and a ball, through nine. Goes back, it's a break, it's six to one, three, six, and nine. One, ten, nine. Peyton Dyer is the Caleri. Five fill, one, thirteen, nine. Whoever off to the left is open. Maybe you can't get it to go for the spare. And if all grand special, Mr. Second make the third. 120 strength for Laura Weber, 118 in the first. And Kate Dyer at 9, 122 in this nine pin tournament from Parsons Field, Maine. He's a fall section. Anchor ball is coming up to finish up the second string of five. Back to line to the right. One four seven nine. Stephen Ashy drills eight. Has these two pin left. Please. Let's go about fifty one percent for Pro Bowl is not wood. The line's open. Stephen has spare at eight. That'll be another spare. Seventy half eating the ball through six. Lot and eight starts at sixty one through six. Was it confirmed? Start a seventh box here in the second string for me, Parsons Field, biggest town in the state. Half west to the right, Galant, Stephen, uh, Stephen rather, Stephen Ashley has the one, eight, nine, seven fill, 87 through six for Stephen Ashley. Galant, nice ball, leaves up the triangle. Two full, eight, nine lead for Stephen. The triangle's only converted about 45% for four balls on wood. Stats provided by Freddie Productions. Both balls are nice tens. 71 through 7 for Scott Galant, 97 through 7 for Stephen Ashley. Scott part of a winning five person state tournament title. Has been hit, has a triangle, that breaks it up, has just the two and the five now. Parallel pins plus the nine for Stephen Ashley. Gets a spare. 81 of the ball through eight. Dashie, another spare. 107 of the ball through eight. Five marks in the string for him. Scott with his third mark. Scott enjoys tight bowling, has poker, and loves sports. Had a triple strike in his high triple of four or five in the match. Eight in his spare for Scott to line, 89 through eight. Stephen Ashley, half puts to right. Shoot fill, 109 through eight. That's a spare for Gallant in the ninth, 99 in the ball through nine.
I'm sorry, that's a 10. My fault. That's a 10. No, that's fair. 10 for both. Is that a fair or a 10? I think he got a spare. I'm just double check that. That was a spare. Had it right the first time. The clock gets three in that fill. 102 through 9. Stephen has the 1, 2, 7, and the 10. He's the one, one, three. And right in the hole, I a spare for Ashy. 119 the ball. It's got two in a row. Three nine. And a thin hit of one. Just a tough four there. 106 strength to stock a lot. On the bonus, Ashy gets seven. Updating this uh, box here. We had a 10 at that two spare fill, 119 through 9. A spare 7 is a 136 second string. Which one you first, Stephen? Which one you first, Stephen? 122. 122 and 136. So we get three more strings to go. We're going to get teams to finish up here. Stephen Ashton is 16 years old. Great upside for him also. A lot of good bowlers here in Maine. We're going to switch our camera over to Amanda Carroll while we're waiting for our next spring to start. You see the uh, ball leaving the hand. She's all the way over on lane five. Nice ball. St clean strike for her. It's a great ball to watch. Amanda Carroll from Great Maine. Once she was five years old, doubles part of Brooke Anton Betteridge, so for 30 years, ball together, will be in the women's doubles event September 10th, extra lanes. Ball's mother Sue Brown, the Tuesday Speed League, Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. She's a three time ladies international champion, three times ICBA champion. Multiple main state records. Main state records are three, five, and ten stringers playing doubles. That's more than five string record at Bowl of Armor in Sanford, Maine. 682 high five. It was a 146, 138, 118, 136, and 144. It always seems to be on a pin. Her high triple of 454. It consists of scores of 150. 133 and 171 in 2013. Just a dynamite bowler. We'll just continue live coverage here. We'll wait to start our next string. She gets a spare there. Out for the next two strings. Next string. Yeah. I need score cards also, please. Amanda punches out four there. Getting ready to start a third string of five in just a moment. We keep there live. We'll get the scorecards from on the screen for all the bowlers as we get them in. I need the other ones to be done, too, please. So let's show what we have so far. Switch back to lanes three and four and finish our next match in just a moment. Chris Thayer, 94 and 118 about the handicap. Stephen Ashey, but Ashey, it's Ashey. <laughs> Hayden Dyer, 99 and 122. Laura Weber, 111 and 120. George Dickey, 127-109. Scott Clark, 109 and 106. Make more scores to come in. We're going to start a third swing in just a moment.
I need them to. I need a team on going to fill us out. Going three next round. Going you know, the order of all in. Lane three, next string. The string three. There's other scorecards coming in here. Just waiting for the next string to start. John Violet, 92 and 93. Bob Trembley, 126, 129. And Ed Carroll, 148, 138. No surprise there. I'm getting ready to start the next string in just a moment. I'll keep it here live. Steven. Tell the bowlers who you are out of all play. Tell the viewers who you are. Steven Ashy, a bowl out of. Well, they, put, they put Ashy on the screen. They typed it on wrong again. It's Ashy. It's Ashy. Ashy. A bowl yeah, out Ashy. of all play in Belfast, Maine. He's just 16 years old. Yeah. And you've got a great high school. 181 high school already, huh? Yes, I did. Mean, wow. I did that down in Academy Lanes when I was watching the Mixed Worlds. In a practice? Yep. That doesn't count, you know. <laughs> Depends how you look at it. How's your high single in the league play? In the league play, it's a 169. Not too shabby. Yeah, could be better. So you're uh, we're gonna see you uh, up in uh, Belfast on the 31st in the mini match two. Yeah, I'll be the pin runner for you guys. Yeah. All right, we're, we're gonna start next string here. Yeah. Uh, team switch over one lane to the right. Laura, can you fill out that score sheet, the score sheet for me, please? Okay. Okay. No, I need for the next, my scoring, next string. I need a score sheet for next string for you guys, for myself. She did both of them. You know who spelled that one? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it here. Okay. Yeah. All right, give me just start a third string of five here in just a moment. She said it over here. I think you guys are playing one. You just do a single one. Yeah. You are the bowling and yeah. All right, so we have Stephen Ashley here still next string on lane four. Chris there and Peyton Dyer. First two bowlers. Yeah, I need the, what's the last name? Oh, uh, sorry. I, I need the sheets out of here. So what, what's the last name? Laura's last name? Libby. Laura Libby will be first. Yeah. On, on lane three, who's yeah, second? Yeah, and David uh, Howard. David Howard will second for them? Yeah, and Willard is helpful. Willard and Dyer will be third for them. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Chris there, starts up the nine. Laura Libby, it's a ten to start. Third string of five underway now. In Parsons Field Main, he's a fall section, fall in Dubai. Nine pin tournament. Another match at one o'clock, one tomorrow at one o'clock also live on Bowling Yard Network. Back to back nines, 18 through 2. Laura Libby of 5, 15 through 2. And Laura Libby from Parsons Field, Maine here. Same place on Strike and Spear, Archie Strike and Spear. 95 average right now, the Prairie Best 104. High single of 160 in her heyday. These are a home lane to Archie Strike and Spear in Parsons Field, Maine. There's only one there. 
Well, I'm going for 59 years. Gets the pack of five. She won the senior single championship in 2022, the main state opens. Senior single champion. And they got her. Tough break there. Chris there. I get three for a spare, and he gets two only. He's at the three and the ten. A tough two box. Ouch. Chris there, 20 through three. Laura gets an eight, 23 through three, and a third of five. It's four. Let me head pass the check mark. We're in the fourth box of the third string here. Nine pin tournament here at Main. I'm so Libby goes right. Craig, Craig Powell, to answer your question, this is a straight nine pin tournament. Mark nine. On your first ball, it's a strike. Eight for Chris, 28 through four. Seven for Laura Libby, 30 through four. So, me, Greg Powell, your question is, this tournament, if you knock nine, your first ball, it's a strike. Second ball, nine, nine is a spare three. Nine is a nine. If you knock nine, three balls to 10. There, you don't get zero if you don't get it, though. One for Bayer again. So you don't, you don't get a zero if you don't get the nine pins. It's regular rules. Hamilton. Well, that is your question. Some nine pin turns you at zero if you don't make the nine. Chris, a tough three, a tough half. It's 31. Bar, nice ball. One more ball to go though for Chris. And he gets seven out of that, maybe eight, maybe nine. It's eight. Let's make it a 36 half. To Chris Thayer. Laura, it's nine for 39 half. Thanks, Greg, for the questions. My first time doing it. It's very fast pace. Doing manual scoring also. His 14 year old sensation, Peyton Dyer, 101 league bowler at age 14. Out of all play at Belfast, Maine. She gets a flurry. 3 1 split. This is Dave Howard, 50 year old. Iron Me, 103 league bowler, best of 106, a spare to Dyer. Send the ball to start a third string. There's the two matches today, another one separate broadcast, 1 o'clock, one more tomorrow, 1 o'clock. Wrap up the tournament. Left hander, it's a field goal for Nate to start the third. David's home lane, Stockwell Valley lanes. Right here, strike and spare in Parsonsfield, Maine. Going for 10 years. And a 103 league bowler. Dyer on the bonus goes right, gets a break, gets the 1, 2, and the 4, 17 through 1. David gets 2 off the right. Peyton, a clean spare, 27 in the ball through 2. David Howard leaves up the 1 and the 3. Eight, two, eight, sixteen through two here in the third of five. 
Hayden's high single already 145, high triple 377, high 10 of 1121. Again, just turned 14 on June 3rd. They're going to get a clean strike on spare. Three marks to start. 37 through 2, 47 plus 2 through 3. Howard drills 8, has the 2 and the 4. Which is a woman's record for high 3 at all play. Which I believe is a 377 high triple. And a spare by David Howard. 26 in the ball through 3. Baiting balling for just 6 years. Her favorite ball moment, she says, when she beat Mark Weber in a one-string match. Just off to the right, working a strike, it's three. Make it four, make it five. David Howard drills down eight. That's the nine and ten. Wood to help. 34 through three. Dayton goes left and gets seven on the strike. 54 through three, what a start. Another spare for David Howard. Two eights now, two spares in a row. 44 and a ball through four. Big wait for a ball to return. She enjoys golfing when she's not bowling. Try to grab a couple here for a nine. He does. Good pinning. 63 through four. Oh, that's a clean strike on spare for David Howard. He's got three in a row. 54 through 4, 64 off plus 2. Wait for lane 4 to reset for Peyton Dyer to start. How about that start for David Howard? David. First time covering you. Tell the, tell the viewers your name and how long you've been bowling for and what you like about cannibal bowling. Uh, Dave Howard, um, been bowling only about 10 years. Um, just a great activity to do, especially as you're getting older. Yeah. How old are you now, if you don't mind saying? 50. That's what I had you down for, yeah. Young 50, right? Yeah, I don't know about that. But... I'll trade you, I'll trade you. <laughs> <laughs> Good start. Hayden Dye, back to live action. Nice ball. That would have been a strike. It is. In nine pin, that's a strike. She does 73 half plus two. Four marks and five boxes. The second ball is going wild here in the third string of five. From Parsons Field, Maine, at Archie Strike and Spare. And David Howard, two ways and three marks in a row. Sitting on a 64 plus two half. Stephen Ashey, not Ashley, Ashey, on lane four. Fastball is five, make it six, one, two, nine, and ten. Here's Willard Dyer, no, re no relation to Paul Dyer. In Parsons Field, Maine, currently, Richie from Cornish, Maine, right on the street. That's a spare to Stephen Ashey, the nine pin, ten of the ball. Willard's open. Willard Dyer averaged 102. High sum of 181. Tough five to start the third. It's high triple 406. High five 642. High 10 of 1189. His home lane's right here in Parsonsfield, Maine. And he's a ball section. Archie strike and spare. Just 2.6 pound bowling balls. Bowling for 55 years. Ashley 1710 lead on the spare. 17 up to 1. Nice half in it for Willa Dyer. Can't get that. Eighth in the ball. So 48 can't see from this vantage point. Six turn to the right. Looks like the eighth from here. Nice ball, a spare. Two in a row, 27 in the ball. 
you're watching for the first time, a 9-pin ball, and your first ball is a strike. And that's a spare also to match Willa Dyer at the 5 box, 15 the ball through 2. A, a 9 drop in your first ball is a strike. 2 balls, 9 drop is a spare, 3 balls, 9 is a 10. The highest scores. All the rules apply. And there's a nice hammer for a strike. Wow! On spare. 37 through 2, 47 plus 2 through 3 for Stephen Ashley. 6 bill for Willa Dyer, 21 through 2. Who has been left? The 1, 2, 4, and 7. And he goes left, gets 2. He's at the 1 and the 3. Stephen Ashley's a fireballer. 9 for Dyer, 30 through 3. You see Paul Dyer on the one o'clock shift today. Steve only won for three years now. Steven, three years of bowling. His grandparents got involved. Nice ball. Leave a double. Almost. Half west to left, but two in the eight. That looked good. Willa Dyer. Back door. That's the eight. Six and ten to right. Three pieces of wood. Ashy's one. And he won't go. Tough break. Wood wouldn't carry. Eight in the strike. 55 through three. In the third of five. And that's a spare for Dyer. Like Stephen Vox, a spare in the second, spare in the fourth. 40 in the ball through four. Dyer in nine. 64 through four. Eight in the strike. Nine, eight in the strike. Nine in the box. Off to the right gets four. Three in the spare for Dyer. 43 through four. Ashley drops that one as the parallel pins. The one five to the left is the two and the eight. Far right back at the nine. Wide right for Dyer. Ashley throws away for a five. Tough five also. Will a dire just a 48 half. We have now for 50 and 70 for Stephen Ashen. We'll just call it a seven. Back to the top of the order. Chris there trying to get back on track here. After disappointing 36 half. Gets to Cleary. Laura Libby is the 1, 8, 6, and 10 to the right. She has 39 half. He's up the 1 and 9. Libby. Uh, is that good? We'll find out in just a moment. Eight for Chris Thayer, 44 through six. Eight for Laura Libby. I'll give her 47 through six. Let's check out official score. They were at 48. Laura's actually at 48 officially. And Chris is at 46, they have. He has the clear. Bar gets two. Nice ball, just a hit pin that time. Nine pin tournament from Harsons Field, Maine. Chris, one left. Seven bucks. Libya 6. She's at 54 through 7. Chris there at 53 through 7.
Eight blocks, third string. Half loops to left. Kamara Libby. First spare. Got it. His first spare in the string. Just there. 63 in the ball. All right. Tough lead. The one, four, seven, six, and ten to the right. Going to get a couple here. He does for a seven. 16, one, two, eight. A high nice single again, 160 in a heyday. 95 current ball now, best ever, 104. Current singer, senior single champ from the state of Maine, 2022. Chris there, he's not bowling, enjoys playing video games. Most bowling anytime with his friends. High single, 164, high triple, 365, half west to left. On the spare, 65 to 8. Bar 2 2 split, 3 6 on the right, 4 7 left. Chris in the hole, it's a Paul Grant shot. Libby looks in the gutter, subtract 1. Up four for Chris there, so 69 through nine. It'll be a nine for Laura Libby. 70 to nine. Third string of five from Strike and Spare, Archie Strike and Spare, Parsons Field, Maine. Nine pin main tournament. Head pin head has the check mark. Look for the second mark of the string. Laura gets three. Looking for first mark. Nice ball, spare. Second spare in the last three boxes for Chris there. 79 the ball in the 10. Oh, that looks good. Well, Terry, yes, that'll be a spare. In nine pin, 18 the ball in the 10. First mark of the string. On the spare, gets a break at seven. Ends up with an 86 third string, just there. From Belfast, Maine. 102 lead ball. Laura Libby gets six, ends up with an 86 third string. Two more balls to go on each side for the third string. Two more strings after that. Special presentation of the Maine. 9 10 bowling tournament this weekend. Another broadcast at 1 o'clock today and 1 o'clock tomorrow. Both balls working on strikes here. Peyton Dyer on lane four. She's at 73 plus two. David Howard, 64 plus two. Three marks in a row. Dyer goes right and gets four. David Howard, nice ball, but just sailed up the last moment. He gets four, maybe five, and he gets six. One, seven, eight, and ten. Three pieces of work. Peyton, nice ball for a spare and strike, yes. 82 half, 92 in the ball through six. Howard can't connect. Seven to strike, 71 half. Tough eight there. David Howard, 79 through 6, spare 8, spare strike, 7. A nice ball, that's a strike, a 9 pin. That's on spare, 102 through 6, 112 plus 2 through 7. For the 14 year older, Howard back in the head pin is triangle. 5 pins to the left, 3 6 to the right. Watch out for this youngster, Peyton Dyer. She's not ball, she enjoys golfing. Oh, good try. That is a spare for Howard. Fourth mark in five boxes, 89 the ball through seven. Peyton, off to the right, gets a break, it's seven, make it eight. That's one and two. Working on a strike. David Howard, a spare. As the husband 
One, two, four, and seven. The four goes away. Seven, Phil. And a spare on strike for Peyton Dyer. 122 through seven. 132 in ball through eight. Seven for Howard and a spare. 96 through seven. Goes right. Miss Chance. Howard eight. 104 through eight. Peyton Dyer on fire. Only one open box. Had been again. 3 1 split this time. Six in the spare. 138 through eight. Amanda Carroll at 148 in the first thing earlier. Howard, ninth box, third swing. That's the 1 5 the triangle. That's one of the four, seven, and the eight in back. Eight needs three for a spare ninth and, and only chopped the odds of pin to try. Look, second off the box of string. How are these up to one and five? Seven for Peyton Dyer. One forty five to nine. She is something. Eight for David Howard, 112 through 9. Ten blocks, third string, head pin again. 5, 7, 10 split, one piece of wood. Won't be easy. Howard in the pocket, pin hit. That's the 3, 6, 10 the right, the 7 pins left, one piece of wood. Anchor ball is next to finish up the third string of five. And in the hole. Nice ball. No carry to the spare. Peyton Dyer is seven. Two sevens to grab up the string with a 152. Not too shabby string. Wood coming out of play. On lane three. I want that performance by Peyton Dyer. It is nine pins. The score is going to be higher. Again, nine in your first ball is a strike. Nine in your first two combined is a spare. Nine and three balls is a ten. All in the middle of the time. And Stephen Ashton coming up next. Their anchor ball is a 70 half. Pick your favorite pin here. Field goal for an eight. 120 string for David Howard. Will it die on the left on lane three? 50 half. Stephen Ash in the right, small play. In Belfast, Maine, 70 half, both open right now. Open means not on a spare, not on a strike. Two more strings to go after this. One more match on the clock. Oh, a nice shot, hammer time. Thunder a strike for Stephen Ashy. 80 plus two through six. There's Tim Douglas shot there. Will it die? Trying to get nine, only gets one. That's the seven, eight, and nine. Good luck with this shot. And gets one for an eight, 58 through six. Stephen Ash is 16 years old. Four marks in the string, 80 plus two through six on lane four. At Archie strike and spare, Parsons Field Maine. He's a fall Texan. Beautiful town. Two one split. Wood to help. Three six to the right, seven to the left. Willa Dyer is four. Oh, nice shot for a spare and strike. 90 through six, 100 and ball through seven. Tire is open. Will it puts it for a five? Start the string of the five, a five and a seven. Sixty-three through seven. Spare six and spare three in the strings. Will it when he's not bowling enjoys gardening and hiking. A one eighty one high single and a high five is six forty two. And eleven eighty nine high ten. Ashley strike! A clean strike on spare! 
Strikes for a strike. Wow. 110 through 7, 120 plus 2 through 8. Trying to match Peyton Dyer's 152 or better. Nice shot for a spare. Willa Dyer, 73 in the ball, his third mark through 8. On a slide, double, it looked good. Two wobbling pins, won't go. Nice ball, it's a strike on spare for Willa Dyer. 83 through 8, 93 plus 2 through 9. Second ball on the strike. Use the wood, he gets it for a spare. 130. Through eight, 140 in the ball through nine. Strike, spare, strike, spare. We'll dip it again, and then it'll be another strike. 150 through nine, 160 in the ball through 10. Plus two through 10. Just a two fill on the first place strike below a dire. Now he's a boss back here, but it's six in the fill. 99 through 9, the third of five. That's the one, three, seven, and ten. One piece of wood. Okay, at least at the high low jack, the one, seven, ten for a seven box, and the 106, third string, Willa Dyer. Stephen Ashey goes left, steals eight. Maybe nine. It does go. That'll be a double strike, nine pin. He's at 170 in a ball. On the double strike, he gets four. Ends up with a 174. Steven Ashley on fire, 174 unofficially. It is nine pin, so you get extra points. But what a finish. Here's this Amanda Carroll's team right now. Amanda Carroll on fire as usual. Taking advantage of the nine pin tournament. 148, 138, 163. Let's talk to Amanda Carroll while we're waiting for our fourth stream this time. Amanda Carroll, for those who don't know you, because a lot of main bowlers, I don't think get the recognition they deserve. You've been a tremendous bowler. Happy birthday, 40th birthday recently, by the way. Still bowling at a high level. Definitely a future Hall of Famer in my book and a lot of other people's minds, I believe. Um, tell us what you gained. Tell us about some of your records you've accomplished. And talk about the women's doubles event coming up as well. Well, I mean, I've been at it since I was a young girl and still enjoy the game a lot. And You're still a young girl. Well, I guess, I guess You're so. aging gracefully. Thank you. Um, women's doubles event September 10th. I'm bowling with my longtime partner, Brooke Betteridge. Um, we haven't bowled together in a long time, so I'm excited to do that with her. Well, you bowled the Tuesday night speed league at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Yeah. So we need six more teams to a 10 o'clock shift, ladies. So no pressure, Amanda. <laughs> okay, six more teams. Me, potential $2,500 first place prize, which would be amazing. We talked about eight months ago, six months ago. We were thinking maybe we get eight or ten teams. If we're lucky. Yeah. We have 18 right now. Yeah. That's good. pretty good. And we get six more teams and one more sponsor. Potential $2,500, maybe $3,000 first place prize. That'd be something. Yeah, it's great for our game. Tell us about some of your main records while we wait for the next string to start. Um, I mean, I have all of them at Newport. That's one of my favorite places to bowl. I haven't been there in a while, but. Um, I have one at the Big 20, five-string record at the Big 20, and five-string record at Sanford as well. Congratulations. You. You're a softball coach too, right? Yeah. Tell us about your team. I coach the 14U team main team. Um, you know, something that I enjoy. I play college softball, and um, my other daughter also plays 12U, so I help, that, I help them as much as I can as well. And just something that I enjoy. Good luck the rest of the way. You're bowling great today. Thank you. I knew you do well in the ninth pin tournament. And you got robbed a few times, too. It's a lot too. easier. Yep, it is. Thanks a lot, Amanda. Amanda Carroll from Gray, Maine. Great bowler. All right, I'll get the lineups here for our fourth string to start. Yeah, yeah. The team going, I need the lineup. Lane, the team going on lane three, I'll need the lineup. Next, next two strings in order, please. 
need the scorecards. You get the fit, manual scorecards, too, guys. For all the teams bowling so far, these are the scores so far we have. Laura Weber getting better each string. 111, 120, 130. George Dakin, 127, 109, 114. Scott Galana, 108 bowler. 109, 106, and 117 so far. Jane Britton, no relation to Jordan Britton, Lane Britton, or Sharon Britton, or Caitlin Britton. 68, 99, 83. Billy Webster, 100, 121, 124. Bev Simpson, 103, 129, and 116 so far. We just showed you Amanda Carroll a minute ago. John Violet, 92, 93, 107. Bob Tremblay, 126, 129, 106. Amanda Carroll. 148, 138, and 163. Let me make more scorecards to come in. They're ready to start our fourth string here now. Yeah, I need the other ones after this. I need the lineup, please. What's that? I need the lineup. The lineup. I need the. I need the. I need this filled up for them. I need three bowlers. Four string underway here on the fly. I need the lineup. The on lane three. And that'll be a spare to start. Maybe a 10 for Laura. Libby. Rick Merrill is here. Merrill. Rick Merrill on lane three. Laura Libby gets six. Merrill on the bonus. It's eight. 18 after one. Looking for a spare. Got it. That's a spare and nine pin. Nine combined, your first two balls. 20 in the ball through two. And a spare. 20 in the ball, two in a row for Rick Merrill. No relation to Chris Merrill or Aaron Merrill. On the bonus gets eight as the six and the seven, 28 through two. Five fill for Rick Merrill, 33 through two. Libby, another spare. She's got two in a row, 30 in the ball through three here in this nine pin tournament from Parsons Field, Maine. Full string. Number five. Rick Merrill has the 5 and the 9. He splits the uprights for a 10. 43 through 3 from the 4 to 5. An archie strike and spare. He'll be turning 60 on September 25th. From Buxton, Maine. Average a 96 high single of 134. Bar on the bonus. Good head pin hit, but a thin hit. 44 through 3 with that spare 6. Merrill leads to the Clary. Minus the two pin. That's the one, four, seven, and the nine. Two pieces of wood. They get three. Libby. Oh, good try. Nudged it. Nine and ten. Merrill missed the object pin. This is the one, four, and seven. Laura Libby, 9, 53 through 4.
Eight box for Merrill, 51 through four now. Laura Libby, 3 2 split, 2 4 7, 6 to the right. Nice ball, but a big split here. Five in the middle, seven to the left, six ten to the right. Two pieces of wood. Rick Merrill. Laura, nice try. Laura from Parsons Field, Maine, 95 all, 104 best. And there's a spare. Rick Merrill, 61 half plus the ball. His third spare of the string. Laura Olivia, nine, 62 half. We're trying to get a hold of our JP Espinosa, the owner. Got a lot going on here today. Talk about his vision for the lane, what he's done to improve it. Kind of wonders here. He's taking over. Not sure. Here's David Howard out on the right. From Hyber and Maine. And that shot from Westbrook, Maine, 90 average bowler on lane three. Left hand, nice ball, 3 2 split, 2 4 7 left, 6 10 on the right, one piece of wood. Chalks out one. Shot. Nice ball. Gets one more. That'll be a spare and 10 pin. 10 of the ball to start the fourth. Again, just joining us. Drop nine and two balls. It's a spare. Nine and first ball is a strike. Nine and three balls to 10. All the rules apply in Candleton. Eight for David Howard to start the fourth. I've owned 12 years. Friends coming involved. David Howard had been hit as a triangle. Matt on the spare. Looks good. Full. Breaks up the split, though. Got a break. That's the three and the six. 18 after one. And there's a clean spare for David Howard. 18 of all through two. Shaw sure hooked it. Missed opportunity. Matt enjoys playing sports, but he's not bowling and watching sports. Just 23 years old. Paul Grand Special missed the second, make the third for a 10. 28 through 2. Get a spare 7, 25 through 2. Another one for an eight. 33 through three. Four. Another ball to go, though. Like I said, an eight box. 33 through three. Yeah, absolutely. Got a more count. Minus one. Seven blocks. Six. One came out and got in the last ball. Yeah, I think it was six. seven. Se seven? Second. Seven blocks. One came out in the second ball. So officially seven blocks, 35 and three for Matt Shaw. The second ball. He has a nice head been hit, but a two one split. He has the four and the eight and the ten to the right. Two for a spare. David Howard, hook to the left. Yeah, nice head pin hit. That's the two, seven to ten. Make it the two and the ten now. Eight for David Howard, 41 from four. He's one for a spare. He's got it. Clean spare, 30, 45. Make it 45 and a ball through four. Let's 
boys are officially confirmed. David has spare seven in the second box. Matt Shaw in the bonus has the triangle plus the 10 pin, six bill, 51 through four. And there's a hammer for a strike. 51 plus two for David Howard. Nice shot. Shaw only got one. Is that a spare for, might be a spare, not a strike, but just the action. That's a spare, not a strike. For David Howard, so 51 in the ball through five. And Matt Shaw, the seven for 58 half. Third ball is here. Both get seven. Right side is Will Dyer. Ken Hess on the left. On lane three, that's trying to. He gets all three for clean spare to start. The fourth swing. Will it Dyer. Tough break there with the wood for Ken Hess. Ken from Westbrook, Maine. Carry average 90 right now. Career best 128. Home well, just two years. Friends coming involved. We just need to start the fourth string. Hobbies include, hobbies include hiking, skiing, and softball. Will Dyer, in relation to Paul Dyer, on the bonus, half west to left, my least favorite shot. 12 after 1, 4 to 5. From Parsons Field, Maine, the keys of the ball section. Beautiful town. Both poles open. Tough five for World Iron. 17 through two. Spare two and a five. Ken Hess trying to get three. Like one on the left. 15 through two. One more string after this one, and we'll have a break in the action. We'll come back by at 1 o'clock for a second of three this weekend. Tomorrow afternoon, 1 o'clock, for the final round. Five spring event. Goal post 7 10 lead. Will Dyer. Head pin hit. Triangle. Not anymore, just the 4 and 7 now for Ken Hess. God, that won't count. Not happy with that. That'll be a nine. Twenty-four to three. And Will Die got a spare after that spare two and five box. Nice bounce back. Twenty-seven to ball from three. And a strike on spare, clean strike on spare. 37 through 3, 47 plus 2 through 4. A lemon drop, $1 for Al Johnson's candle pins or cancer pin. Ken's got five to go. I want to grab a bunch here. He gets one for a tough six. 30 through four. Looking for his first mark here in the fourth. Will Dyer's got three marks in four boxes. Working a strike in lane four. 47 plus two. Special edition on Bowling Nerd Network. A nine-pin tournament here in Maine. Had an archery strike and spare. And there's a break there. He's got the one, two, and the eight. Working a strike. Back door gets the head pin to go. That ball has to get removed there. That ball is going to get removed, guys. It stays in play. And missed the spare chance on the strike. But seven will die on that strike, 54 through four. By rule, that ball must be cleared. It stays in the playing surface. His owner, J.P. Espinosa, is going to remove that now. We're in the fourth box of five from Parsonsville, Maine. 
in the Keys of Falls section. Lovely town. There's only 2,000 people here. Great place to visit. Thank you for watching this great game of Candleford Bowling. A vintage classic bowling line since 1963. JP doing a great job. When you get a chance. Okay. When you get a chance. Sure. Talk to you on the key. We get a chance here. Just a moment. Nice shot. That'll be a spare. Ken Shaw breaks through. 40 in the ball. Five. And ninth, Will Dyer. 63 half. Let's talk to the owner, J.P. Espinosa here. I have to put the scores on the screen here. All great, you live. The Archie Strike and Spare. Main nine pin tournament. And here's the owner I'm trying to get for a while, J.P. Espinosa. Tell us, J.P., about your business here, how it gets started, and sure. your vision for the place. First of all, Paul, I, I really appreciate you coming down to Archie Strike and Spare. It's our first tournament, so we're really excited to host. Um, we reopened last year uh, in April. Actually, we bought it in April and then uh, spent about three months getting uh, all the machines and lanes operational. Uh, this, this place was shut down for, for a number of years. It took a lot uh, to kind of brush it off and bring its historic past uh, back to the Parsons Hill community. So we've been uh, humbled and honored uh, to have our bowling leagues back to become part of the main uh, Candlepin Association again. And really, to, to make this a community uh, hub, you know, not only where bowling league uh, can have fun, but we've also done birthday parties here, corporate parties, at summer camps, kids' camps, and, and everything in between. Um, one, so, one second, Ash. Sure. Spare one for Rick in a six box, 68 through six. Laura Olivia Spare, 72 the ball, six. Continue, JP. Yeah, of course. Um, we, the other thing I'm really proud of is we uh, employ five uh, people uh, here at Archie, so we're keeping it local. Everybody's from the community, and they don't have to drive an hour away uh, for, for work. You know, so we're uh, we're local all the way. Six for Ferrara, Libby, 78 through six. Continue, JP. Sure. Uh, okay, what's JP stand for? For your viewers that want to know, uh, <laughs> if you want to say, if you want to say. Sure. I, I always tell people it's just perfect, but it's actually Justin uh, just Peter. Per just perfect. That's a good yeah. one. Justin Peter. Uh, Justin Peter. Yeah, okay. sure is. That's and a good name. Thank you. Yeah. And the other thing I was going to tell you is uh, we have a, a full kitchen here. Uh, we offer a menu uh, from pizza to burgers to uh, any, any fried food, uh, pretty much on the spectrum. And the burgers last night they were great. Thank you, I appreciate. It. We, we we worked a lot on our menu and we do take out as well, so uh, we're uh, we're becoming a, a known uh, name here in the community. It, it's a full bar too, right? Oh yeah, uh, we've got uh, wine, a uh, number of uh, domestic beers, uh, a lot of craft beers, and, and then we do uh, cocktails as well. And people can do takeout also. We, they can do takeout. So re, 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 give us the phone number a couple of times for the viewers. Sure. Uh, the phone number is 207-625-9508. Uh, again. again, that's 207-625-9508. You can also find us on uh, our Facebook page. And if you uh, shoot us a, me a message on our messenger, we can uh, go back and forth for reservations as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and if you're ever interested in, in doing a party here or uh, any other occasion, we rent our lanes out by the hour and also by the game. Um, for parties, we, we typically do $40 per hour. That'll host up to five bowlers, and that includes uh, shoes as well. All right. JP doing a great job with the line notes. It's a work in progress, but it does look beautiful. You've done a great job. 1963 Vintage Alleys. Awesome job so far. I know you got a lot more to do, but great effort, and the community appreciates it, and the bowlers do also. I, I appreciate it as well, Paul. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just happy to get this place brushed off. People coming in here to enjoy things and leave everything else uh, behind outside the door. So. It definitely is a faster pace trying to keep score manually here in the nine pin string. <laughs> they switch lanes quickly. You know, I'll tell you, one of the things that uh, we made a conscious decision of was holding on to the historic uh, historic part of this place, and that includes the projectors, uh, which we're going to upgrade to LED, and we'll start doing uh, scorekeeping through there. But uh, it's been a really good lesson uh, for everybody in our community learning how to. to uh, Keep score. Keep score by hand again. You know, it's it's like it's like learning how to drive a car. You, you want to learn with a stick shift before you get to an automatic. Not, not me. <laughs> I'd blow the transmission if I did that. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, I got to get back. Okay, go JP. Check the JPS, nice, nice, nice to talk to you. We'll talk to you later on. Right, JPS knows the only here at Archie Strike and Spare. Wonderful job he's done here. In really poor conditions when he took over. I was saying, Justin, check out the food here. Check out the full bar menu.
Nice shot there, Laura Libby. That's a 10 box, so 104 through 9. And a tough six. Eighty nine through nine. Rick Merrill. Laura gets four as wood to help. Philip on a very high level. As Merrill gets five. The 160 high single right now, a 94, 95 average right now. 104 career high. Nice ball. Gets five. That'll be a spare at nine. Pin. 114 the ball in the 10th. And a good try. Only three that time. Merrill, good bid. Nice 10. Rick Merrill, a 99 string. Thanks for watching this great game of cannonball. This is different. It's a nine pin tournament. Again, if you're not sure how that works, in your first ball, you drop nine, it's a strike. Nine in your first two balls combined, it's a spare. If you do it on three balls, it's a 10. All of the cannonball pin rules apply, so it's higher scores. We've seen a 170 and 163 so far today. Stephen Ashey, ball play at a 170. Amanda Carroll at a 163. Laura six for an unofficial score of 120. What a performance. Laura Libby. We'll try to get her here if we can. Go sign off. Laura. Second ball is coming up now. David Howard and spare 51 on the ball. One second. Hi. David on the spare. Nice ball. Nine. That'll be a strike on spare. 61 half, 71 plus two through six. This is Laura Libby. Laura, tell us about your bowling days. You're still bowling at a very high level now. I'm holding it pretty good. 95 is not bad No. this stage. No, I started with a 99 at the beginning of the year. I've had a rough year. That's all right. I'm coming back. Yep. So uh, tell us one of your highlights of your career. Been a long time. Well, I've been very well in the state for the last three years. I've placed in the top 12 or 20, whatever yep. they have, on both the seniors and the uh, classes. So I think that's pretty good. Yes, it is. I haven't, I, the only one I've won is the singles, senior singles. Yep. I've won the title on that this year. Congratulations. Yep. Just a four there. And that S62 on the strike nine. That's a double strike in ninth in. Tell us one of your favorite bowling moments. If you remember back, your best moment, best shot, or best moment you ever made had bowling. We had a house championship here one one year. Well, we have had them several years, but one year I was bowling against the locals, and we ended up after the second string. My the opponent that I had bowling against said, "I might as well go home. There's no way I'm going to get her because I had a 300 after two. Wow, awesome. <laughs> On a double strike, on the first ball, gets six. 26 in that box, 87 through six. And there's a spare, nine pin. Matt Hess, 72 in the ball through seven. Second ball on the strike for David Howard. Looks good. He gets a go, a clean spare and double strike. 107 through seven, 117 in the ball through eight. What a performance. Continue, Laura. Any advice for young bowlers out there? Oh, just get out there. Join leagues. This is the best. It's a lot of fun. You get to meet a lot of great people. And you really should get out there and join the league. Thanks for taking time. Laura Thanks. Libby, Senior Championship 2022. Main State Opens this year. Four field for Matt Hess, 76. I'm sorry, Matt Shaw, not Matt Hess. Ken is Ken Hess. Matt Shaw, my, my apologies. The wrong shoot in front of me. Four in that field, 76. Seven. On the spare, seven for David Howard. 124 through eight. Another spare, 134 and above through nine. That's five marks in a row, six in a string. Seven for Matt. Matt Shar is at 83 through eight. 
And that's a 90 big ball. Another strike. A clean strike on Spare. 144 through 9. 154 plus 2 in the 10. Incredible. David Howard fired here on the 4th of 5. Nice try. Gets 2 of the 4. On the strike. 6. It's up to 160 right now. That will count. That'll be an 8. Matt Shaw. 91 through 9. Ken Hess is next. And he gets 8. How about a 162 string? For David Howard. What a performance. It is 9. Pins the score. Play a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Shows again. Great bowling. David Howard. 162. Matt Shaw missed it. Parallel pins plus the 10. That would have helped, but missed the object pin. That's the ball grand special. Missed the second, make the third for a 10. And a one on one fourth string. And Matt Shaw. Here's Ken Hess now in lane three. That was a 10. Nice food here. I can smell the food. Tastes so good. Check it out here. Archie Strike and Spare in Parsonsville, Maine, in the Keys of Falls sections. Die on the right, 63 half. Ken Hess on a spare, 40 in the ball. Halfway to his fourth string. Dyer, nice ball there. Tough lead. 5-8 in the middle, 7-10 goal balls, corner pins. Four field for Ken. Hess, 44 half. Won't go for the spare for Dyer. Very impressive high single of 181. It's a 9, 72 through 6. Pass for the 9. Kent's at 53 through 6. After the single, we'll one more to go. Then we'll sign up and come back for our second match at 1 o'clock today. Seven teams here today. In this 10 lane facility since 1963. Dyer in the head pin has a 3 1 split. 3 6 10 on the right, 7 on the left. Ken Hess breaks up. Oh, big split there. Broke up. Just a head pin now for a spare. Actually, it's a strike in 9 pin. So used to the candle pin rules. In 9 pin that counts as a strike. So it's 63 plus 2 through 7. Anyway, they fall. Dyer in 8. 80 through 7. So we'll have Ken Hess again next string. Matt Shaw. And Rick Merrill. Right down the middle, spread eagle plus the eight pin. The Geyer. Hess gets only one, but working a strike. One there, these are six, just the higher. That came out of the better apparently, so it's about to reset. Eight for Will Dyer, 88 to eight. Let me check the score on Ken Strike there. I think that's a three. That came out, that came out of the gutter, right? First ball. Yes, yeah, so it's got a ball on the first came out. Had a reset, so a three on the strike. 66 to 7. And a nine box. Tough break. 75 to 8, unofficially. Half west of a dire. And that's the ball grand shot right in the hole. 
Need to live in the next shot. Just like that. Yeah, ugly four box. Yikes. Tough break there. 92 for 9. Kennel's just going for two years. 90 average on his way up. Westbrook, Maine. Nice shot there. That's a spare. 85 and a ball through nine. His third mark of the string. Spare four, strike three, and now a spare in the ninth. Ball tied. Trying to get nine for a spare. Missed it to the right. We'll keep it live here. Wait for a fifth string to start. And on the spare, it's four. 89 through nine. And Dyer is seven. They have officially a 101, so we'll call it a nine. 101. Eight. Eight. Scores we give you here are unofficial. A nine. Ken Hess. 98 string. One more string to go. We're in Parsons Field, Maine. Piece of fall section. At Archie Strike and Spare, the nine pin main tournament. Very interesting format. Again, nine on your first ball is a strike. Nine of your first two balls combined is a spare. Nine of your first three balls are ten auto count from rules apply. So a little higher scores. How about that 162 from David Howard? Now, so we're going to start our fifth string in just a moment. We're just going to finish up our other string here. We'll start out good string in just a moment. Thanks for hanging on. One and two, they're gonna be on three next string. I need that lineup next string. You have them right in there. Yeah. yeah. Next two strings, one string. All right, so we're gonna start our fifth string in just a moment. Thanks for hanging on. We're gonna stay live. As teams in lane one and two are wrapping up right now. Again, we're gonna have the same lineup on lane four this time. They're on lane three last string. Rick Merrill will lead off, followed by Matt Shaw and Ken Hess. Oh. Look at the scorecards together. Need the other ones, we have them. Here are the official scores coming in now. As it's very fast paced here on the fly. Oh, Weber continuing to roll, getting better each string. 138 in that fourth string. Scott Lana, 131. Step Nashley, 174 Mont to the third string, back to Earth, a 107. Peyton Dyer, 154 in that third string. Back to Earth also, 106. She's a 101 average at age 14 in regular Candlepin. Sean Violet, got better each string also, 111 at fourth string. Rick Bob Trumbly, at a 126 and 120 at start. Amanda Carroll, back to Earth here in the fourth, 127. A 148, a 138, and a 163. We'll get more scorecards we get them in. So we're going to switch lanes over here. Fifth and final string to begin. Joy spread not related to lane Britain. 145 for Billy Webster. I'm going to buy some. Oh, you want to buy some? Okay. I'm going to start a fifth string in just a moment here. He's going to buy some, so hang on. Change it. 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 Change it.
We're going to start a uh, rap We're going to start a fist string in just a moment. Thanks for hanging out. We're going to keep it here live. Okay, we're going to have Chris Morton next. Eileen Morton and Steve. That's Amanda's mine. You keep track of them when I can't watch that. This is yours. That's Amanda's right there. Yeah. Those are Amanda Carroll's. Oh, okay. All right, so we're going to start a final string. So we'll get three new bowlers here on lane three. <laughs> Yeah, I Yeah, 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 no, I, um, I don't have yours, Eileen, either. I didn't know Okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to start a fist finger in just a moment after the raffle. We'll just keep you alive. Ashy. 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 Hey, I think it goes up far. Stephen Ashley. One, seven, four, Ashy. 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 Steve Ashy, the high single, 174 so far. That's the only JPS Pinoza up there right now. Is that Amanda's? I got Amanda's. Okay. Can you hang on to mine too? Because I can't. Yeah, I know. It's 506. 506 to the team. 506 the high team score so far. Right. Team. One string to go. And we'll get ready to start here in just a moment. <laughs> so we have Chris Morton, Eileen Morton, and Steve Widger on lane three. And again, in lane four, we're going to have Rick Merrill, Matt Shaw, and Ken Hess. Now after this string, we'll have one more broadcast at 1 o'clock today, another one tomorrow at 1 o'clock, the main 9-pin state tournament from Parsons Field, Maine, he's a fall section, Archie Strike and Spare. Beautiful town of 2,000 people. Come by, check it out. And we're waiting to start off this string. Steven. Steven. Everybody in their lane for this next round? Yeah. All right. All right, just we have the raffle here, and we're going to start off this screen. Get everything organized up there. What page did you say you're streaming to? This is on Bowling Nerd Network. Let's be sure. Bowling Nerd Network. Bowling Nerd Network. Yeah, and it's also share that they believe the channel can chat. Go on Bowling Nerd Network. It's live stream. The website or the Facebook page? The Facebook page, Bowling okay. Nerd Network. Okay, cool. Yeah, and it's on Facebook, it's being shared. The other platforms also. Handle and chat, other ones. Yep. Cool. So, tell us the viewers your name and how, how you're bowling today. My uh, name is Ken Hess and uh, bowling like normal, which is kind of crappy. Yeah, you only bowl a couple of years now, right? Yeah. So it's not bad, though, right? Yeah, not too bad. It's a lot of fun. I don't want to interrupt here, but it's a lot of fun to be here and uh, just enjoy the time, you know? Six eight nine one zero two. Six eight nine one zero two. There you go. <laughs>
What are you doing? What are you interviewing him for? <laughs> well, we'll get you in here too. So tell, tell us. Well, tell well he, he interviews the best looking, even though we're not on. Tell, tell us why you joined. What you like about candle and bowling? The challenge of it, honestly. Yes. You know, it's like um, 100 is a really good score. Yeah. Um, and so, just the consistency and trying to, you know, figure it out is the fun part of it, yeah. I think. You know? Now, there's 10 pin, you close your eyes and get a strike every time, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, 9 pin, it's, it helps well, a lot it's too. funny, I, uh, I hadn't bowled big ball in a while, and we went a, a month or so ago, and I was so off balance. You know, it was so different. This is real bowling. This is real bowling anyway. I agree. I agree. Right, good luck the rest of the way. Thanks. Appreciate it. Underway here now on our fifth and final string. Rick Merrill, that's a strike and nine pin. Nine dropping your first ball. Ten plus two to start. Final string of the match. First of three matches this weekend. One more at one o'clock today. One tomorrow at one. Chris Morton. I believe just won the 50-50 raffle. That's seven left up. One ball to go. He knocked on nine and three. That won't count. And the gutter. Three. Nine of your first balls a strike. Nine of your first two is a ten is a spare. Three the third ball is a ten. All the mechanical rules apply. Chris Morton. Turning sixty-seven on August eighth. Coming up on late break. Merrill on the strike at the back of five. Half west to left for Chris Morton. Chris currently an 86 average in his prime as a 105 league bowler. High single scratch, 149. Balls from Westport, Maine. Six on the strike for Rick Merrill, 16 after one. Nice shot for a 10, 26 from two. Chris Moore, not the start he wanted, a three and a four, just seven through two. And ten and nine can you come back quickly though? Born since he was ten years old, sixty-seven years old right now. Merrill head pin, three one split, and that's the seven eleven, three six ten on the right. Chris has some wood to help you. It won't be easy. Three six, sorry, two four seven left side, ten pin right corner, two pieces of wood. Nice ball. That'd be a spare for Rick. Merrill, spare strike six ten a spare. Thirty six balls for three. Boy, trying to kick it over. These are the goalposts. Seven ten. Trying to get on track here. Eight box, just 15 from three. Rick Merrill, 96 league bowler, high single 134. Returning 60 on September 25th. Bucks to me. Only one of the spare, 37 to three. Same seven pin hit for Chris Morton. The money. <laughs> leaves up the one, two, six, and ten. Morton gets the three to the right, leaving up six. Rick Merrill, no relation to Chris Merrill or Aaron Merrill, gets six, 43 through four. Nice out for Chris Morton for nine box, just 24 through four. Getting better each box. Three, four, eight, and nine. Chris has bowled in many bowling state tournaments in the past. Merrill gets three. Half Worcester left for Chris Morton. Joyce winning. Who doesn't? Merrill missed everything. Just one there from Morton. He's not born. Likes fishing, hunting, canoeing, kayaking, and camping. In addition to camping and bowling. And a brutal three. Rick Merrill had a spare one also in there. 46 half with two marks. Start off with a strike six. And a tough four for Chris Moore, just a 28 half. 
We're going to fifth and final string here. Parsons still main. A nine pin. Main tournament. The match at 1 o'clock today. Set the broadcast. We'll have one more tomorrow at 1 o'clock as well. The second ball is up now. This is wife Eileen Lee. Eileen Free. Matt Shaw. A reverse triangle on the right, 4 7 left. Good hip and hit there. Eileen Wood. She has the 6 10 on the right, 7 left. Bunch of wood to help. That shower is open. It's two for a spare. Can she pick it up? Yes, a clean spare. 10 of the ball to start. Seven. Match shot. That is 33 years old. Birthday's on January 14th. West Coast, Maine. 90 average right now. Going for 12 years. Friends got involved. He likes putting money in tournaments. That's why he's here. It's a break. That's a one and three. I need more than the diamond on the square. 16 after one. That's six bill. For pro balls, I would. These go about 27%. For the split of the stats. Sean missed the opportunity for a spare. He's even one for a spare in nine minutes. That's a spare for Eileen Morton. She's got two to start the fifth. 26 in the ball through two. That's a nine. And that's Shaw. 16 through two in the fifth. Goes left, has the Clary. Eileen has the Clary also. Off the side. Five in the spare. 31 through two. Look the left open. Eileen needs at least four for a spare. She's got it. A clean spare. Three in a row to start the fifth. 41 on the ball. Two, three. Five. Matt Shaw. We saw coming live broadcast again today at 1 o'clock and tomorrow at 1 p.m. right here at RT Strike and Scare. I'm holding your devil. Right here in Keys of Falls, section of Marcus Philomene. In the gutter. About to reset. Eileen on a spare. That looks good. Right in the pocket, but it's 2 2 split. That's the 2 4 to the left, the 6 10 to the right. Spare 6, spare 5, spare 6. We start our fifth. 47 to 3. Good effort. Just go one that time. Nice shot, nice ball. Oh, good first ball. The second shot, though, has the one, two, and the eight beyond the two thing. Eileen, nice nine. 56 through four. Strong start here in the fifth. And that hooks it to seven, 28 through four. The Maine men's money match two is coming to Belfast, Maine. Sunday, July 31st, 12 noon, a ball of your endeavor. You can't open chat. Defending chance, Paul Dyer. And Mark Carey, all new owners of their bowling centers, will take on new challenges. Don Drake and Lewis Dyer at all play in Belfast, Maine. Paul Oshman, Matt Shaw, Spread Eagle plus the nine. Eileen, I guess the main money match two for men's. Sunday, July 31st, 12 noon. Check out Bowling Your Network Live in Kenilton Chat. Defending chance, Paul Dyer. And Mark Carrier take on Tom Drake and Lewis Dyer. Nine for Matt. Shot, 37 half. Eileen with a nine. What a start, 65. 
Steve Wigger on lane three. Third bowling. Got one bowling anchor here. Ken Hassel on lane four. Nice ball, has a triangle. He's converted about 45% for pro bowlers. Not good. Mid 30s for semi pro bowlers. Fortune split, baby split. Nice shot for a clean spare. Ken has start fifth string with a spare, 10 the ball. Steve looks at left. That's the one, two, four. And the right side is the six and nine. One piece of wood. Nice out. Only got two for seven blocks to stop the fifth. On the bonus, just three for Ken Hess, 13 after one. And from Westbrook, Maine. Ninety average bowler. Well, over two years, friends got involved. Ken likes hiking, skiing, and softball. He's up one, two, and nine. Widger has been hit. actually. It's five. Ten for Ken. Twenty-three through two. <coughs> Widger is open. One. Six here the shot. Nice out for nine. We get a ten. Pretty shot. Seventeen through two. A little further back here today. Ken Hess gets four. Drop to one, he's a five. Witcher in the pocket. That's the half was to left, the two and the eight. Three pieces of wood, ten pin right corner. For his first mark of the fifth. Yes, nice try. Punches out. Has the two. Sorry, the three, six, and ten. Another seven box. Thirty and three. And that's a spare. To Steve Widger, his first mark. Twenty-seven of all through three here in the fifth. First of two broadcasts. Say one more at one o'clock. One tomorrow at one o'clock. Pass goes right, gets a break, has the one, two, and the four. He's going about 51% for pro bowlers that would. One of the stats. Three in the field for Steve Widger, 30 through three. The four bowlers with the span three in this half, 30 through three. Ken punches out. Jupin has also converted about 51% for pro bowlers without wood. It's a nine. Chopping out here, 39 through four. Wager, nice ball, nice out, pretty 10. 40 through four. Off to left, he gets four. Make that three. Wager off to the left. He gets three. And he gets four out of that mess. He's up the one and the three. Steve Wager, he's up the nine. Again, he's got about 27% for pro bowlers without work. Stats provided by Spread Eagles Rushing Stats. Eight box for Ken Hess, 47 half. And off to the left for a six for Steve Widger, a 46 half. Five boxes to go for each bowler. Now, final spin of match. One more to go at one o'clock later on today. One o'clock tomorrow. Maine, state. Just a Maine, not a state tournament, just a Maine house nine pin tournament. 
ash you from belt plate, belt fast front plate, that's the high signal tape, 174. Near the carol at 163. Back to the top of the order. You're going right. Okay. Nice ball. So after a 20 and a half to Chris Moore, he starts off the second half with a nice spare. 38 in the ball for six. Averaging 86 nowadays, 105 is fantastic for his career. 3 1 split, 6 fill, 44 through 6. So he's a mark away from his average. Was, was that a reset on 4? No reset, was that a reset on 4? Okay, so lane 4 is being fixed, so it's all ready to go now. So Rick Merrill is telling us 6 blocks for the 5th string. It's a break as the one, three, and the seven. Chris Warren's open. It's a six box. Fifty through seven. He's thirty-six and three boxes to hit his average. High single one forty-nine. It's nice ball. Can you break up the seven pin? Let me. Yes, that's a strike. The nine pin. Sixty plus two through eight. Good for him. Merrill with an eight box. Fifty four through six. On the strike, seven. That's the 2, the 5, and the 10. Chris Morton could use a big fill here. Just two more for another spare. Merrill, nice ball. Won't go for the spare. 8 fill in the strike for Chris Morton. 68 through 8. Now on track to his average. After a tough 20 and a half. Featuring a 3, 4, 8, 9, and 4. On track nicely here. And a nice out for a 9. 77 through 9. So after all that, he just needs 9 in his average. A 9 for Rick Merrill, 63 through 7. Rick's a 96 league ball right now. High single of 134. Bucks the name. 59 years old. Off to the right. To the parallel things. That's 6. 3 for Chris Morton. It's 10 bucks. He's a little bit ahead because lane four broke down. He punched out one. Good try by Chris. Has a diamond. He's three to his average of 86. Nice 10 for Rick Merrill, 73 through 8. And 8, so 85 after. And 20 and half, a strong second half. 85 strength for Chris Morton. Nice finish. Now, how you start, how you finish. That's excellent bowling. Some bowlers get discouraged. That's give up. It hung in there. Strong second half. Nice ball by Merrill. Gets eight. That's the one and the seven. Fish have been 75, not 73. And that'll be a spare of the ninth box. Very fast paced here. 85 and a ball through nine. On the bonus, gets four. 89 through nine. So to get to the century mark, we need at least five here in this nine-pin tournament. Again, nine pins and two balls in this pair. Nine and one ball, first ball is a stripe. Nine and three balls is a ten. All the killing rules apply. We won't get it. That's the 
is the one five and the three to the right. A nice 10. 99 string for Rick Merrill. No relation to the pitch of Aaron Merrill. Ninety-nine string. Matt Shaw, thirty-seven half on lean four, looking for his first mark here in the fifth. Goes right, gets four. I lean more than lane three. Solid half, sixty-five to start, gets seven more. And a square six, square five, six to start, two nine, sixty-five half. Has the five to the left, the six ten to the right, three pieces of wood. Not an easy shot. He sees two though for a spare, not me. Matt threw it away. Not falling through in a second shot. Nice ball, but just missed it. That's seven bucks. Matt Shaw, 44 through six, and then the hook. And Eileen Ward with a nine, 74 through six. Make bulls after there. We're done with their five boxes, and that'll be it for our first match or two today. Another one at one o'clock, and one tomorrow at one o'clock also. Nice hit hit there. Breaks up the check mark. That's the three, six, and ten. Nice ball. That'll be a strike. And ninth, and Eileen Morton. Three spares and a strike. 84 plus two through seven. From a great ball, all string. Mad shot. Ah, get robbed, but it comes back. Got it. That'll be a spare, a nine pin. 54 and a ball through seven. I need one in lane three, working a strike. 84 plus two through seven. Four marks in the string. A lot of regular league bowlers here today. A lot of great young bowlers in the rise. Nice head pin hit. That's a diamond. Six in the spare. 60 through seven. Wood back to it again. Another split. Four, seven left. Six to the right. Working on a strike. She has wood to help on the left side. And Matt off. Had second shot. Only got one there. I thought you might go left. Side. Seven in the strike though. Ninety-one through seven. Not bad. That is an eight. Sixty-eight through eight. Another good out. Nine for Eileen Ward. One hundred through eight. Widger on deck after her. And Ken Hess on deck on the right. On lane four. Man has spare six in the seventh box. There's a good ball there. Clean strike. Punch his fist. Great shot. 78 plus two through nine. Beautiful ball. That's a lemon drop. One dollar for Al Johnson's Kendall Pitts with Cancel Pit. Right back in the pocket, right to full though. Tough leave as the three, seven, to the right is the three and the six. Two, seven, three and six. Good try, only a one for seven, 107 through nine. And that coming to life here late in the second half. After a 37 half, 78 through two now, nine. At Archie Strike and Spare, Parsons Field, Maine. Beautiful section. He's a boss. A tough one. One more, one more ball to come to fill. Gordon goes right. It's five. One, two, four, eight, and ten. Two pieces of wood. And a brutal one on the strike. Yikes. 79 through nine. Thank you. 
Line leads open. Now look for big out. And he does for seven and eighty-six fifth string. Eileen, good bowling, a nine, one sixteen. Good string. Final bowl is now the match. Back at one o'clock after this. We'll try to get the scorecards on the screen before we sign off for all the bowlers. Ball grabbed your line. I'm bowling your network. We have the main men's money match two, July 31st, 12 noon. New owners Paul Dyer and Mark Carrier. Penny Chill take on John Drake and Lewis Dyer. Parallel pins here. For Ken Hess. Steve Wood, which only gets one there. And a 46 half. And a 47 half. He's up to one and five. Which leaves up seven. It'll be a ten, fifty seven through six. Would you a spare three in the third? Hooks it for a tough three. Forty nine through six, four blocks to go, and of course, two matches. You walk on it. <laughs> Ben Hess off to the right gets the pack of five. He's got about 31% for pro bowlers on Wood. Widger has the pack of five plus the ten. Get some wood to help. You get nine for a spare and nine pins. You only get three. So he's up to one and two. Widger, good effort. Look, oh, yes, he gets a spare. Come back up nicely from that six and three box. Fifty-nine to ball through seven. Ken has with an eight, sixty-five through seven. And a spare three to start. Open since then. Just born for two years. We'll put the score sheets up before we sign off. Nice half and hit. That's the half whister. Two eight and the seven to left. Two pieces of wood there. On the spare widget is two. Spare three and spare two in the string. Two these totals down. Sixty one for seven. Nice comeback. That'll be a spare. Nice comeback from that half whister. Second spear in a row, 71 the ball through eight. Ken, oh, good try, he got it. That'll be a spare. 75 in the ball through eight, two blocks to go. In our first of three matches this weekend. One more at one o'clock today, one tomorrow, one o'clock also. Laura Weber is all done, and you get 600. George Bacon, 562. And Scott Galan, 580. Laura, what 130, 130 in the middle. Very good bowler. Six in the field for Ken. 81 to 8. Spare six wood to help here. For Steve Widger. 77 now to 8. Missed everything that time. For a spare, oh, only got two. Need to get three for the spare and ten and uh, nine pin. Except the two and the eight. Six for Ken Hess. 87 to eight. 8 box. Steve Witcher, 85 to nine. One box to go in the match. Thank you for watching. Back again at one o'clock today and one o'clock tomorrow. Let me get a score card. Boy, sign off. I already have, have this one. Final box. Ken Hess, nice ball with a 3 1 split as a triangle plus the 10. 
Steve Witcher looking for Mark has the four and two baby split. They're still adding them up. They'll, they'll be Good try. That'll be a spare. In the 10th. Strong finish. 97 the ball. Third mark of the strike. Witcher has the four. It's been left the one, two, four, and seven. He'll be open. Those who aren't familiar with that term, open means basically you didn't get a spare strike in that box. Eight box, 93 string unofficially. Steve Widger. Final ball of the match, Ken Hess. On the head pin, only gets four. Ends up with a 101 fifth string. So we have the official scores to put on the screen. And we'll sign off and come back with another match at one o'clock. I appreciate you watching a special edition of Molinar Network of the main mixed nine pin tournament where scores are higher. So let's, I need the scorecards, guys, the cardboard scorecards, please. And for all these scores up on the screen. And again, just a reminder no, the cardboard ones. The 9 10 again, we'll be back at 1 o'clock today and tomorrow at 1 o'clock also here in Parsonsfield, Maine. No, the, the, these here. Oh, I don't, we, we just, it's this one. We don't have one of those. All right, so we'll put these up for now instead. So Rick Merrill ends up with a 518. Matt Shaw, 452. Ken S, 102, the last three consistent. Yeah, so all right, everybody. And, and uh, you guys are packing up. I just want to say thank you uh, very much for coming down here to Archie's. Uh, if you guys have any uh, tips or critiques or anything like that, we can do with the bigger time better on your next visit. Come see me. Uh, the kitchen's open. Bricks are open. Give us a few minutes to get in the stores all out, added up for the uh, the high singles, and we'll let you guys uh, know where everybody stands for today. Now we're not going to be doing the shift on Sunday morning. So we've got two more uh, shifts for the tournament. It's going to be Saturday at 1 p.m. and then Sunday at 1 p.m. as well. You guys are welcome to stay. Uh, watch this afternoon as the next shift goes on. I think we have two, maybe three teams. We'll see if uh, we have any more walk-ins today as well. We've got to give them that next um, Everybody's got their scorecards. Uh, make sure to get them uh, back around. Get everything added up, please. This one, too. Uh, we're going to wait for the official scores to come in. I'm going to sign up after that. Thanks for hanging on. Can I have those for a second, please? Is that, ready? Is that done, too? I'll take those, too. So put these up on the screen here. No, I don't need that. I'm sorry. Here's one of the other teams here. Chris Thayer. Ends up at 527. Stephen Ash. Ash. It's not Ash. It's Ash and Noel. 174 is the highest single today, 682 in this nine pin tournament. Peyton Dyer, just 14 years old, at a 154 in the third, at a 599. There you go. Any more score sheets? So that's going to do it for now. We're going to sign off for now. We're going to come back at 1 o'clock for our second match of three this weekend. Appreciate you watching this nine pin tournament. We'll be back at 1 o'clock today. Paul Green saying so long for now. From Archie Strike and Spare in Parsonsfield, Maine. We'll see you at 1 o'clock. Thank you.